I was walking around my university today and there was this guy walking his corgi and it just made me so happy and I'm in such a good mood now. What's up you guys? It's Katie the relationship guru who has never been in a relationship before and I have noticed something. Relationships in our grandparents' generation were so much different than what they are today. See back then everybody would like date everybody and like you'd be dating multiple people. Wow, is this like the dating dance? Oh my gosh, Katie, no wonder you've never been in a relationship. But then when they found somebody that they connected with, they would go steady with them and they'd be just committed to that one person. And I kind of feel like my view on dating is very similar to that model. But nowadays, there's like no formula for anything. We're like texting right now. We're not talking yet. He and I kind of have like a thing right now. Like it's not a thing thing. It's like a thing. Oh my gosh, they're totally like wheeling. We're not dating. No. Oh my gosh. We're just like seeing each other. There is no like progression of stages anymore and so people got really scared and you know what happens when people get scared they're stupid to make bad decisions and in this case the stupid bad decision was that they decided to set a bunch of rules and preconceived restrictions on relationships you know when you're like seven and your dad makes a joke saying honey you're not allowed to date until you're married. This is supposed to be a joke, but to many people, it's almost reality. See, when you put so many rules and restrictions on these things, it makes the early stages of getting to know somebody like more terrifying than actually committing to a marriage. Well, actually, what I love is that in the seventh Harry Potter book, mm -hmm. when Harry comes back from the dead, it's about Jesus. Oh my gosh, it's, it's like, like Jesus it's the same thing. The it's the same thing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. that I did not expect and I overreacted completely. And I don't want the takeaway to be, oh my gosh, Katie says that we need to hold hands on a first date. We all have different boundaries that we set for ourselves when we're in relationships and some people save their first kiss till marriage and some people are fine kissing on the first date. That's like a whole video topic in and of itself. This is what I want the takeaway to be. There is a big difference between giving your heart away too early and just being open to different opportunities that God might be presenting to you. I would really encourage you not to feel like in order to protect protect yourself, you need to build up all these walls around your heart because you want people to get to know you really well and to get through to you and that's a lot harder for them to do if you refuse to even go on a date with somebody unless you're positive you can marry them. So there are my thoughts for today. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at KatieLizG, on Twitter at KatieLizG, and I'm also on Facebook KatieLizG. So super easy to find me. Go check it out. Best of luck in all your relationship endeavors and until next time I see you, have a great life. Don't be stupid or make bad decisions. Bye guys. Are you fascinated by this? Yeah, yeah. Is it recorded? <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is all gonna be there forever. Wow. My hand's like this. Because like if a girl this? wants to hold her hand, she'll be like this. I'm teaching you things for life now. Oh, okay. Okay. Do I smile? Try and go. Oh, this is cute. You need cups that match the plate? No, we're good. Okay. Thanks for doing this, Quincy. Oh crap, I'm still recording. Ready, live action.